now, as we transition to housing, existing home sales, we had those figures come in. They went up in October, which was interesting because we had six straight months of, of declines. Um, mortgage refinance applications have gone down big time and hit an 18-year low. And I thought we had very interesting comments from the National Association of Realtors today calling on the Fed to slow things down when it comes to rate hikes. So let's put it all together and talk about this environment with bank rate senior economic analyst Mark Hamrick and National Housing Conference CEO uh, David Dworkin. Uh, thanks to both of you for joining us. Mark, let me take it uh, with you on this Fed comment, which I did find interesting from the National Association of Realtors. It says, hey, Jerome Powell, slow things down. What do you think of that and what would it do to the housing market if he did? Well, I'd love to see a thousand dollar check tucked inside my turkey tomorrow as well, but I wouldn't bet on that. Right. Uh, of course, that's that's on the wish list uh, for the housing industry that this rise in both interest rates and home prices could somehow cool. But uh, we did see in that existing home sales data, the median sales price uh, was not quite as hot as before. But whether it's the president sort of imploring uh, Jerome Powell and company to uh, cool it on rates or others throughout uh, the business sector, I think we're going to have to get into that December meeting and see what FOMC officials really think. There is a case for slowing or pausing, but I don't think that's the predominant case certainly not for the December meeting. Right. Um, still a good chance, I think 70 plus percent, that they raise rates in December. The right. question, David, is what do they do next year? Because then you look at, we add mortgage rates up and, and where they go, whether it's significantly above, above 5 percent or not. What do you expect rates to do next year? Well, housing prices and markets do taper off. And I think it's uh, when I'm landing an airplane, I don't want to pester the pilot about how he's doing it because I want the landing to be soft. And I'm hoping that's what happens with this housing market. I think rates are probably going to continue to go up a little bit. And uh, we're certainly seeing a flattening in the housing markets, but uh, um, especially when you look year uh, over year. What about that uh, And when landing, you factor in David. population, it's much worse. Okay. So you're saying that the landing, though, can be smooth. It, it, you want it as smooth as it can be, and, yeah. and I certainly think that's the Fed's aim. But we want to also uh, be aware that there are other factors that are impacting housing affordability, and um, we have to pay attention to those as well. All right, let's talk about some of those uh, factors. Mark, what's the impor most important thing outside of interest rates that we should be watching here? Well, obviously, home prices. And so, uh, you know, if we start to see uh, a lessening of this seemingly uh, unrelenting 5% plus rise in home prices year over year that we've seen for a number of years now, uh, that would help. But let's think about the strength of the macro economy to the extent that one of the most uh, uh, often cited complaints about the economy in recent years has been the lack of more substantial wage gains. If we get right. better wage gains, that makes up for some of this housing affordability problem that we've squeezed ourselves into. Here. Yeah, it's always a balance. We're starting to, I guess, David, see that a little bit, right? People are making a little bit more money. And That's right. We were talking earlier in the hour we need about to see. what we should be rooting for. I assume in your business, you're rooting, you're rooting for that, more of that, right? We certainly want higher wage gains, but there's been a significant lack of supply, and that's one of the things that's been driving housing prices. So we have seen an increase in housing prices, but it's it's pretty inconsistent, and if it's driven by a lack of supply, uh, mm -hmm. then that's problematic, especially in the move-up market, where people are just getting out from underwater, and having 20 percent um, equity in your house is better than being underwater, but it's not enough to move up. Right. and buy something new, and that's what we've seen in the, pro in the property markets. As a final kind of a point from both of you, and um, Mark, you can take this first. Mm -hmm. the, where do you think the economy is in, the, in its cycle? Because this week we've had more and more conversations with people saying, all right, recession's a real possibility, end of 2019, beginning of 2020, or something like that. Should we even be talking about recession, or are you with uh, Larry Kudlow and that we, we can't <laughs> see it, it's so far away? Well, uh, Larry's a good man. Uh, I think you just have to look at sort of where uh, a number of trend lines are pointed to the extent that you begin to lose fiscal stimulus in 2020 from right. the tax legislation. And you have essentially, if the Fed stays on track, uh, interest rates basically become uh, penalizing at that point. So I think you have to circle 2020 and saying, you know, that's a that's a year to watch. What do you think, David? I think recessions happen, and we haven't uh, ended the uh, economic cycle. I think it's important that the Fed be allowed to bring us in for a soft landing so we can have a smooth takeoff and, and come out of whatever slump we're in and not crash. When you say allowed, what do you mean? 
Well, <laughs> I think there's been a lot of challenges from the White House on Fed independence. So you'd like to say that. Uh, it's very important that we keep the pilot's door locked. Uh, stay, stay yeah, well, the president's entitled to have an opinion. Well, I just well. don't want him to actually do anything with that opinion. I get it. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Mark and David, thanks to both of you for coming on. We appreciate it. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, too. All right, we'll keep an eye on all of this. And uh, meantime, 